everyone, it's Annette and welcome back to Cote Verde. Today I wanted to show you how the James Galway climbing roses are doing at the front of our property. I've got three of these and I've been pruning them every year in order to train them the way that I want them to grow and to maximise their flowering. And I just wanted to show you how they're looking this year because I trained them quite a lot last year and I think I've had some success. So let me show you how they're doing. So if you've been with me for the past year, you'll know that I've been training these roses to grow more horizontally so that we get all of these upward shoots. Um, because uh, if you train your rose horizontally, for each little node, it will shoot a shoot upwards. And on the end of that, you'll get your flowers. So let me show you close up. So this trunk branch comes up here and last year I bent it over this way in order to get it to start shooting upwards and if you look close up you can see that where the nodes were I've now got shoots going upwards and on the end of these I will have roses and I've already got at least one rosebud let me show you and this is coming directly off hang on so this is shooting upwards and coming directly off this horizontal branch down here it's quite tricky to show you so I'll show you one that's not working quite so well um, so that you can see what happens so because I wanted more growth at the top, I've let some branches just grow upwards. So this branch that goes up here, because it's very vertical, nothing is coming off the sides of it. And it's only when you get to the top that there's any growth at all coming from the nodes. So even though there are nodes on this bit here, because it's not horizontal enough, they're not breaking and creating shoots. So this is the middle rose and it's a bit easier to show you how um, with a horizontal branch there are a lot more shoots going up and yes they're growing in front of the window but actually I'm just glad there are shoots growing upwards and even this lower branch here all the shoots are actually coming off and then over this side where I've tried to train it across the door and I'll try and put last year's video up where you'll see that there was hardly anything but because I bent the branches down a bit so that they were more horizontal I've got a lot more branches breaking off that and it's a little bit bare in the middle here but what I've done is I've pruned this these two branches here quite short and they've got tiny little buds breaking on them and those buds I will bend them so that they're more horizontal and that will create a branch that's more horizontal with shoots coming off it there. So this here is where it's shooting because I pruned it and then it's also shooting here with a bit of green fly on it, white fly, I might need to spray those. And then this one here has also got shoots at the top again because it's not bent horizontally enough but what I will do is I will bend this one more horizontally gently and then each of these little nodes will form a new shoot. I've also got look that might be my first rose this year. So this particular rose um, this is the one closest to the entrance of our driveway further through our front door but it probably gets the most sun and it's also our biggest rose uh, but I'm expecting the most from it so I want it to go both ways over both windows let me show you I've been training it for the last few years to grow up and I want it to go over this window we've got some wires over this window and it's finally making its way and I've had to try and keep it away from this window so it doesn't grow in front of the window too much and then on this side I want it to go up and over this window and cover the door too and it's taking its time but I finally got some branches with some shoots coming off them that are going to go over the window over here so I'm hoping that this is in focus but this is a really clear example of what happens when you 
have a horizontal branch and all the nodes create shoots and then at the top of all of these shoots there are going to be roses. So I just want to talk you through what I've got planted at the base of each of the roses. So at the base of each one I've got two Excelsior foxgloves and one Foxy foxglove. They're mixes and then in the corners I've got three Lichness Versicaria Splendens. I think that's how you say it but I'll put the name up on the screen and then I have an Astrantia in the corner. And all of these plants here should set off the James Galway rose beautifully and hopefully will bloom at different times so I'll have colour throughout the season. But that's it for today. I think they're looking fabulous and I'm so excited for all the blooms I'm going to have in the next few weeks and I will be sure to video that and show you. So do subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Every time I want to film there's a plane. Tiny little noisy planes. It's not environmentally friendly to have a plane with just two people in it. <sighs> That's not going to work, is it? <sighs> we have to carry you. So these are James Galway roses and they've been in about three or four years now and I have in the past I have struggled to get as many blooms as I wanted because I was still why is there always a plane this is so annoying